Hey there, I'm Clara Park, and here's the food news for February 18, 2009. Our top story of the day highlights a new use for tequila. Diamond film is a tougher semiconductor than silicon, but it is both costly and labor-intensive to make. However, researchers at the University of Nuevo León near Monterrey in Mexico have figured out how to make diamond film from ordinary tequila. Oh, tequila, is there anything you can't do? In product news, the booze gun hits the market. Do you find traditional shots too slow and a waste of time? Try the booze gun. Shoot one ounce of alcohol straight into your friend's wide open mouth in just a few seconds. In related news, YouTube is preparing for a huge influx of new gay chicken videos. In national news, the mysterious white powder that prompted evacuations at the Eagle County Sheriff's Office in Colorado last month has been ID'd as Jell-O brand instant vanilla pudding. The powder, a parking ticket, and $35 money order were mailed together to the office in mid-January, triggering an evacuation, the quarantining of two employees, and the use of infrared sensor equipment by a hazmat team. The man who mailed the envelope had no explanations and just claimed he was, quote, not a clean person, and probably accidentally picked up the powder from his messy kitchen table. Our final story of the day takes us to New Zealand, where local beekeeper Kevin Prout has been charged with selling toxic honey which caused convulsions and violent seizures in 22 people. Toxic tutu honey is caused when bees feed on the honeydew secreted from the rear end of tiny sap-sucking vinehopper insects feeding on the tutu plant. The lesson learned here is clear. Beware of interspecies salad tossing. Corked wine is when a wine has aromas reminiscent of old newspapers, sweaty socks, and wet mops. You do not want to drink corked wine. We're not talking about when little bits of cork get in your glass that can be easily fished out with your finger or some sort of a table utensil. Corked wine happens because cork is sterilized in a chlorine solution, and sometimes that solution can inadvertently react to a penicillin mold called 246-trichloroanisole, or TCA for short. That is what you're smelling when you're smelling all those old, nasty, wet, musty aromas. If it's not the cork, the problem can be caused by dirty wineries or dirty unsanitary warehouses where this chemical, TCA, can embed itself into the wood or to the barrels. If you're at a restaurant and your wine has all these nasty, smelly aromas, be sure to tell somebody about it. And when buying a bottle of wine at a store, check the return policy, okay? Because if that wine is corked, you definitely want to bring the wine back to that store to get your money back or have it replaced, which means what? Save your receipts and buy from reputable wine merchants. I hope we learned something today. And always remember, passion without pretension. How to make a mayonnaise. Egg yolks, oil, lemon, salt, food processor. First, combine the egg yolks and the lemon juice in the food processor. From here, add your oil just a little bit at a time, starting with a few drops and working your way towards a tiny stream. The further along you get, the more oil you can pour in. If it gets really thick, just add a little bit of water, and then go back to pouring in a little bit of oil. It should have a nice ribbon consistency. If it starts to look like water, it's broken. You added too much oil too fast and you'll want to start over. But if it looks like this, you did perfectly. Now go make a sandwich.